Hello TBJ Bashies and welcome again to another YouTube video and another Girl's Guide video. Pasensya na guys, it's been a while since I uploaded a new video because life has been so busy and I had to attend to a lot of stuff for my blog and also my business. But even if I don't upload often, I make sure naman na all the things that I upload on YouTube are really useful, really informative, and really educational para sulit naman. In this Girl's Guide video, I would like to share with you the top things that you have to consider before buying your very first luxury handbag. Yay! Congratulations! Dahil bibili ka na ng iyong first luxury handbag, it's quite a purchase. And congratulations because pag nakabili ka na ng first luxury handbag, ibig sabihin, lumaki sweldo mo, may nagbigay ng pera sa'yo, and umoki na yung iyong quality of life. Quality of life talaga. So, yan guys. Um, Really, luxury handbags, for me, it's a barometer for success because Siyempre, luxury handbags are really expensive and to be able to buy one, you have to be at a certain level when it comes to your work, your position, your salary, or your channel of income because hindi siya birong purchase. And ako talaga, ever since, bago pa medyo mahaluwag-luwag ng slight sa buhay, ay pangarap ko na po talagang mag, ano, mag, magkaroon ng luxury handbags kasi sobrang hilig ko po talaga sa bags. By the way guys, I am not bragging here. This is meant to be a very informative video. So please lang guys, no bashing and um, I'm not here to brag. So yun, again, this is just for, you know, to inform you guys kung ano yung dapat nyong gawin and consider before buying your first luxury handbag. Be and this is especially useful kasi hindi naman tayo sobrang yaman na okay, Bibili lang ako ng any bag and then pag di ko siya type, tapo na lang. So, yan. Kaya, dapat may ganito. Alright, guys. Okay, ano-ano ba yung mga luxury handbag brands? So, these bags are um, Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Givenchy, Todd's, Burberry, ano pa, Bottega Veneta, Valentino. So, yan. Yan yung mga luxury handbag brands. Madami pa actually that I did not mention. But these are some of the most popular ones. Most of these brands are available in the Philippines. And, um, ililista ko sa baba kung ano yung mga bag brands na yun that you can find in the Philippines kung gusto nyo silang i-check. And me, I just started with a Louis Vuitton handbag. Kasi lahat naman nung nagsisimula sa luxury handbags, they start with Louis Vuitton specifically because it is the most accessible and affordable luxury handbag among all bag brands. Ha. Well, the other Louis Vuitton styles are really expensive, but the monogram, yung canvas, it is na the most affordable comparing to other bag brands. Ano ba yung dapat natin i-consider before buying the first, your first luxury handbag? So, first step na ibibigay ko is you have to know which style you like. Nagulat kayo guys, no? Hindi ko first ever na sinabi na budget, na prioritize natin yung budget. Hindi siya yung priority ko number one. Because, what I realized is you can have a big budget or a small budget, but at the end of the day, the, the bag that you buy really has to be something that you like and really, really love. Because, for me, I have, I've always believed, kung hindi mo talaga masyado gusto, eh bakit gagastos ka ng ganyan? And guys, huwag tayo dun sa idea na ito lang yung kaya ng budget ko, so ito lang yung luxury bag na bibilin ko. Because, magsasayang lang kayo ng pera, guys. When you find out that the bag does not fit your style, your taste, your everyday activities, that's also important. And also, um, hindi nyo talaga siya bet overall. And wala kayong malagay. So, sayang lang yung pera. So, for me, always, you know, go for that bag that you really like. So, have a goal bag in mind. Hindi naman to race na, oh my God, um, one year... In one year, I have to buy the bag, or na one year na I have to buy this bag now, and then you find out that increase yung price. So, ipun ipun ka na lang ulit, dagdaga mo na lang, and then wait until the perfect time for you to finally get that bag that you really like. Number two, okay, of course, price is still a consideration. I'm not saying throw away price consideration to the window. No, because syempre, pera pa rin yan. Anda, sobrang yaman mo talaga and talagang sobrang lahat ng disposable income mo. Then, go ahead by all means. Of course, I go for the bag that I really like but if malaman ko na hindi ko siya 
ganun ka afford and then i list down my top 5 ones you have to have like let's say your top 5 because syempre pwedeng sabihin mo yung pinaka gusto mo hindi mo talaga afford and wala hindi talaga kaya ng ating budget and marami mas sacrifice dapat open ka to other options so that's how i do it for example i like the Chanel bag. I like a black bag and I like the Chanel Le Boy bag. But it was really expensive for me that time. So I just listed down five black bags that I really like from other brands. And then I just went for my most affordable one. When I went for my very first black bag, so syempre nandun si Chanel, di ko siya afford. So nilagay ko then ito, si Prada Tesuto Goffrey. Goffrey, yung ba yung pronunciation on? So, um... That time, 2012, this is one of the most popular bags, styles ng Prada. In fact, it's now considered a classic. It's not sold, I think, anymore locally, but in other countries, baha meron pa siya. So this is the Tesuto leather, uh, Tesuto material. But the very first luxury handbag that I got is the Louis Vuitton Never Full. So this was given to me by my mother in 2011. This is eight years old now. This was a Christmas gift to me. Ay, hindi graduation gift pala for me. So you have to consider your lifestyle when buying a bag because um, really the bag has to fit your lifestyle. You have to know kung ano ka ba, more of an office girl, more of um, a stay-at-home mom na kahit anong bag pwede because you don't have to deal with like let's say mga ocular outdoors kung saan pwedeng ma-deteriorate or ma-damage yung bag. So those things, you have to consider those things. I really consider myself as you know, um, really a working girl so i'm always outside i have to go to meetings i have to go to events so i needed a bag that looked pretty classy and at the same time um not that structured because syempre pag nag-grab tayo nagko-commute hindi mo may iwasan yung bag might bump on the side of the car or kaya bababa ka yee wag naman sana meron kang kasabay sa jeep bigla kang matapunan ng ano kung ano dyan yes guys nagjeep ako kahit meron akong dalang luxury bag kebs basta makarating sa paroroonan I don't care I have to consider those things this part happened to me with my Givenchy Antigona binili ko siya it's a really big bag yun yung pinaka type ko sa Givenchy so binili ko siya ang laki niya pala and it was very structured and antigas ng sides and the leather was smooth so the problem was whenever i would go down bababump siya ang laki niya talaga pag sa public transportation ang hirap niyan dalhin syempre di ba medyo ilaga because you have to take care of the bag so you can sell it at a higher price later on so one month ko lang siya nagamit binenta ko siya agad because it did not really fit my lifestyle so i realized what worked for me are soft bags. So, ito yung is sa mga bags na yon. So, this is the Balenciaga. Um, it's one of the most popular luxury handbags, specifically with young ones because of the trendy, edgy look. And it is my second most favorite handbag brand next to Prada because Prada is like the classy office style and... Balenciaga is like my everyday, mod modern, you know, trendy, edgy look. Na very casual. The good thing about Balenciaga is it's lightweight na leather. Because pag leather na yung handbags, most of the time, bumibigat talaga siya. That is the case with this one. This is my Givenchy Pandora. Yan. Um, wala pa tong laman. Medyo mabigat na siya. And by the way, this has a strap as well. You have to get from an authorized retailer or a legitimate distributor. I cannot stress this enough, guys. And also, personally, I love going to authorized um, stores. Sa stores na talaga mismo. Authorized distributors. Because um, I realized, aside from yung confidence, you know that you're getting the real thing. You can also take advantage of certain benefits like one repair and also replacements. So for example, this bag, I when we got this in Paris, but there's this black one ng mom ko. She got the velo which had bigger studs. Natanggal yung one of the studs. And then, since we bought this, we bought that from Balenciaga Paris. When we went to Balenciaga Greenbelt, we show the bag and then they looked us up in the system and then they found our name so legitimate na, okay you got your bag from a from a balenciaga store so again we'll service you and we were able to order the extra stud from paris through them and everything went smoothly and seamlessly yun yung maganda don because here in the philippines if you had it repaired say natanggal to kung yung repair shop will just you know give you whatever 
um, replacement they have. It's not the original thing. And I'm telling you, if you sell the bag, that's gonna be a factor when it comes to the price. But yun yung importance ng buying sa retail stores. Talagang um, you can aside from the benefits when you sell it, may confidence ka rin na mas mabebenta mo pa siya na mas mataas. Kasi you have the receipts and all, and pwede mo pang masabihan si buyer eventually na well you can bring this to let's say a Balenciaga store if ever you need repairs because most luxury handbags lifetime naman yung service when you buy and they're also legit distributors I am not saying um, walang legit distributors of course meron but the problem is meron akong kinukuha ang legit distributor and then lately nalaman ko parang nang scam na siya for some reason so ang hirap din and then I realized also there are distributors, um, resellers, eto mga personal shoppers sa tinatawag, that are more expensive pa than the store. For example, the Louis Vuitton um, mini pochette accessoire. It's their newest bag. Parang 94k siya sa LV Green Belt, and then this personal shopper selling it at 103k. See, it's not always um, true that it's cheaper to get from a reseller because. They can get it from Paris, of course. Let's say for a particular bag, mas mura talaga siya. But of course, may patong sila don. And then the prices will go up depending on the popularity of the bag, especially that bag, si LV mini uh, pochette accessoire. Some. So yon. Um, always check the store first, and then baka mas makamura ka. And again, yung yung services talaga yun yung isa mga malaking factor why I always go for boutiques na talaga. Don't be afraid to experiment. But still, medyo strategic pa rin tayo. Me, I'm always, ano eh, nandun ako sa thinking ahead na baka pwede ko to ibenta. If worse comes to worst, pwede natin ibenta. My newest acquisition, this is the Gucci Dionys Dionysius? Dionysus? Tama ba yung pronunciation ko? Ah, hirap na yung pronounce ang pangalan ng mga bag. So, Gucci Dionysius. And this is one of Gucci's newest bags, but it ha it was released about two or three years ago. But it still remains one of their most popular bags. Nung nagre brand na si Gucci, and this remains a classic. So this bag, I wouldn't have any problem selling this right away. Kung kunyari kailangan ko ng pera, because I know this is a very popular style. And that's all for today's girls' guide video. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you know other girls' guide video topics so you would want. Want me to cover and yeah that's it i hope you enjoy your first ever luxury handbag and if you have questions about it please just message me bye